But at the same time, there is a big awakening happening. Give us your take on that, and then I want to get into the economics. The big awakening, and, and you know, this is something we're going to be writing about more. We're forecasting, Alex, a new, new age. A new, new, you know, the, the new age began with a lot of good intentions back in the late 70s, 80s, and was gaining momentum in the 90s until the internet boom happened. People started making a lot of fake money, and then people started, you know, shopping until they could drop. What a mentality. So now we're being forced into an involuntary, voluntary simplicity, where you're looking at what's really important in life, friendship, love, companionship, doing kind things to each other, living by the golden rule. We're going to see a revival in religion, not the standard religions, but we're forecasting something new. I don't want to call it spirituality or even new age, because that puts labels on them that really, you know, makes them, it kind of pigeonholes them. But something greater than that. You're saying people are going to, are starting to awaken spiritually. That always happens during a crisis. Exactly. And there are a lot of wonderful people in this country. And if I were to add them up, I would add up there are more great people in this country than Slimers. It's only that the Slimers do the dirty deals. The Slimers are your senators, your congressmen, the gang of 535 that run the country. Look what they're talking about. Reed's calling this guy a liar. Lindsey to Graham Crack is calling Reed a liar. Who could believe either of them? You know, it's Disney World for adults. So what we're saying is that's only a small part of society. When things start breaking down, you start seeing a build-up spirituality, and I believe that's the only thing that could save us. The only thing, I've said this before, is that wonderful Hindu saying, when the student's ready, the teacher appears. Anybody that's studied at anything knows what I'm talking You're about. You're right. And, and, and as the New Trans Journal says, and, and, and we say something similar, you are the answer. You are the resistance. These churches want to control you and make you, you know, feel like you need them when most of them are 501c3. And we've proven are getting direct homeland security orders. I've gone and spot checked local churches. And I mean, it's you're going to worship the government. You're going to do what they say. I mean, this is like soviet russia or something because they still had churches they were just government mouthpieces and and just like christ said you're not going to find the spirit of god in 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 most of these churches and you know he he, he talked about the pharisees up on the hill praying in front of everybody because they want everybody to know how good they were instead of praying in their closet and people are going to find out that the materialism is not going to empower them in the hierarchy of needs sure you need to be taken care of you need to be comfortable you know, th but 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 that's not the final equation. You don't sell out for status and baubles. Those don't fulfill you. That's why the globalists want to keep you so poor you can't even get the basics that you've got to have, so they can control good people by making you do bad things for the chicken feed they give you. That's why they want a post-industrial world. That's why they want people to not have quality that you talk about. They, we have sold our souls for this plastic Walmart death pit.